Freddie and Truss Oversteegen were born in the 1920s in Harlem, Netherlands. Before World War II started in the Netherlands, their mother hid Jewish refugees from Amsterdam and Germany in their family home. The girls also witnessed the violence around them after the Nazis invaded. Growing up in this environment, they were exposed at a young age to the evil of the Nazi regime. As an adult, Freddie recounted, I remember how people were taken from their homes. The Germans were banging on doors with the butts of their rifles. That made so much noise, you'd hear it in the entire neighborhood. And they would always yell. It was very frightening. When Freddy was 14 and Truus was 16, the family heard a knock on their door. Their visitor was a commander of the Harlem Council of Resistance, who wanted to know if the girl's mother would allow them to join the resistance group. Their mother agreed, and the girls began their training. The group taught the two girls how to shoot and march through the woods. Eventually, the pair would meet Hanny Shaft, another girl in the resistance who helped them on missions. While in the group, the trio helped transport Jews into hiding, blew up railways, and, most famously, seduced Nazis and lured them into the woods to be shot. While recounting a mission in which she helped to assassinate a Nazi big shot, Freddie remembered, I had to keep an eye on my sister and keep a lookout from a vantage point in the woods to see if no one was coming. Truus had met him in an expensive bar, seduced him, and then took him for a walk in the woods. She was like, want to go for a stroll. And, of course, he wanted to. Then they ran into someone, which was made to seem a coincidence, but he was one of ours. And that friend said to Truus, girl, you know you're not supposed to be here. They apologized, then turned around and walked away. And then shots were fired, so that man never knew what hit him. They had already dug the hole, but we weren't allowed to be there for that part. Although the girls often weren't the ones to carry out the killing and missions, there were still several occasions when they had to get their hands dirty. In one instance, Drew saw an SS soldier killing a baby by hitting it against a wall while its father and sister were made to watch. After seeing this, she shot the soldier. Although the trio did what they knew to be right, they didn't enjoy it. In an interview, Truis explained, It was tragic and very difficult and we cried about it afterwards. We did not feel it suited us. It never suits anybody unless they are real criminals. One loses everything. It poisons the beautiful things in life. Freddie and Truist survived the war, but Hanny wasn't as lucky. During an attempted assassination, she was sighted and became a wanted target. The Nazis only knew her as the girl with the red hair. Despite this little knowledge, she was caught in March of 1945 while transporting underground papers with a pistol on her bike. Hanny was interrogated, tortured, and eventually executed. During the years following the war, it was important to the Overstegen sisters to make their story known to the world, as films, TV series, and books are coming out about how they fought the Nazis. This wish is slowly being fulfilled.